Okay, now we have our sample, test 51, the one we just acquired, the polystyrene loaded. Now let's say that we wanted to compare that to another polystyrene or to another sample. So we would simply go to File, Open, and we would select the other sample that we would want to load. In this case, I'm going to load a polystyrene, uh, polystyrene 2, and I would select the file, uh, select Open, and this opens the file. Now notice that this file was actually acquired as a percent transmittance. Uh, this was probably done on uh, something was cutting it off here so I'm not sure exactly what it was used to to uh, it wouldn't, wouldn't have been an ATR because Excel and I would have cut off about right here but something was cutting so it's 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 a little bad but say we want to change this now from percent transmittance to percent absorbance so we can compare the two all we have to do is go back up here to graph Y axis mode and now we'll select absorbance and, and it's automatically converted to absorbance. Now the two files are open. Up here at the top we see the test 51, the one we acquired a few minutes ago, and we see this polystyrene that we had as a file. If we want to actually see the two on top of each other, we can select this little icon here that says join all and that actually brings them together. You see the red, which is the test 51, and the polystyrene, which is black, on top of each other, and we can expand those, and you can actually select the two, and the one that's highlighted uh, is the one, uh, the, the one that's selected is the one that's highlighted, that, that has the darker line. So right now, the test 51 is the selected file, and over here you can see that it's lightly grayed out. If I go back over and click on the polystyrene, the black then becomes a heavier line, and you can see that the gray is switched from the test 51 over here, to the polystyrene 2. And again, double left click takes us back to the beginning. And if we want to separate them, uh, we would go back to this icon. Notice that our join icon is now grayed out. We would go to this icon that splits all, and again that splits them, the two indif individual files back out. Say now we want to actually subtract the two files. We want to subtract our test file, uh, our, or our saved file from our test file. So up here, under these two icons, we have all the manipulations that are possible. And I'm going to select here Data Calculation. And in Data Calculation, we get this new screen. And on the right here, I'm going to say I want to subtract the two data sets. And all I have to do is select the data set. So if I right click on the Test 51 data set, I'm going to call it the Source. And if I right click on the Polystyrene 2, I will call it the Reference, Send to Reference. And then all I have to do is select Calc over here on the right side, and we see the resultant, the uh, uh, subtract and from the two, from the do two data sets. If that's acceptable, I can select OK, or I can actually cancel out. So I can say OK, and this again brings me now as a third file, and it's called Test 51 minus Polystyrene. And notice that this actually becomes part of the Test 51 file. The, the file name test51 will include this file now. So I have the original test51 as well as the normalized test51 that we did a few minutes ago as well as now the uh, difference file as well.